Μεταδώστε την είδηση, όχι τον ιό. Spread the news, not the virus. Το Solidarity Now, η ύπατη αρμοστία του ΟΗΕ για τους πρόσφυγες και το pod.gr ενώνουν τις δυνάμεις τους σε podcast για να σε βοηθήσουν. Άκου τις πληροφορίες σχετικά με το πρόγραμμα Ήλιος και συμβουλές σχετικά με την αναζήτηση διαμερίσματος στα αγγλικά. Spread the news, not the virus. Solidarity Now, the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees and pod.gr join their forces to support you through a series of podcasts. Listen to the information regarding the Ilios program and tips to help you when you are looking for an apartment in English. Spread the news, not the virus. In the fight to reduce the transmission of the new coronavirus, we are all one team. We stay informed, we take precautions, we stay safe, and we protect those around us. This podcast provides information on the Ilios project to support your integration and advise you when you are looking for an apartment. Ilios project. This message will give you a first overview of the services provided by the Ilios project and how you can benefit from them. If you need further clarifications or information, you can always reach out to the Ilios teams. After this message, If you believe you have received enough information and you would like to join the project, contact the Elios teams and they will enroll you. First, a few words about the project. Once you have been recognized as a refugee in Greece, it is time for you to think about settling down here and Elios is here to help you. Elios teams will support you to rent a house in Greece, learn the Greek language so that you can communicate, and assist you to find steady employment. This process happens through different steps. First, you need to enroll in the project. This means signing a paper through which you accept the terms of the project and you express your willingness to participate in it. Do not worry. If after you sign this document, you change your mind, you can decide to not make use of the EGO services. So, you get to choose if you want to be involved and benefit from Ilios. Once you enroll in the project, the Ilios teams will assist you to find and lease your own apartment anywhere in Greece. Specifically, they will share with you all the necessary information on how you can search for an apartment and what you will need to rent it, for example, specific documents. Ilios will not rent an apartment for you. The Elios teams will collaborate individually with you by going through listings of available houses with you, facilitating your communication with house owners or real estate agents to book appointments to visit these houses. The Elios teams will also support you with any interpretation needed with your house lease agreement. Once you rent a house, Elios will also arrange for you and your belongings to be transferred to your new apartment. You will be entitled to receive rental subsidies on a monthly basis as soon as you submit to Elios teams a signed lease agreement in your name. Rental subsidies are calculated based on your household size. The Elios teams will inform you in detail about what applies in your case. Are you worried about the initial rental costs? Well, with your first payment, you will also receive an amount paid one-off, which will help you cover your rental guarantee and the first settling in expenses, such as furniture. After your enrollment in the Elios project, you will also attend integration courses at the Elios Integration Learning Centers. You will learn the basics of the Greek language and also acquire practical skills to make your daily life easier. For example, you will learn how to open a bank account or which public service to refer to for your needs. Classes take place from Monday to Friday and they are organized in three shifts, mon- morning, noon and afternoon, to facilitate your attendance. Integration learning centers are in Athens, Thessaloniki, Ioannina, Kriti, Larissa, Kardica, Trikala and Livadia. 
The Ehlers teams will also offer you job counseling sessions to help you in your job search. Ehlers will not find a job for you. In fact, you will be supported in your search for a job through five private sessions with the Ehlers job counselor. You will also learn how to prepare your CV and familiarize yourself with the Greek labor market. Finally, the Ehlers teams will follow up with you throughout the duration of the project by supporting you with any needs related with your integration process. The Ehlers teams will not accompany you to the public offices. Instead, the Ehlers integration monitoring teams will assist you by regularly assessing your needs, identifying the difficulties that you face in your daily life, and providing you with the useful information to ensure that you are fully included in the Greek society and you know how to navigate through the public services. If you are interested to find out more, if you want to enroll in the project or view pictures of available apartments, please visit eliospiti.com H-E-L-I-O-S-P-I-T-I Dot com for more information including WhatsApp helpline phone numbers which are available in English, Greek, French, Arabic, Sorani, Kurmanji, Farsi, Pashto, Urdu, Punjabi, and Hindi. Below are some tips to help you when you are looking for an apartment. Local Greeks and foreigners who have been residents of the area for many years can help advise on how to locate apartments as they are familiar with the area and speak Greek. If there is an organized community in the town where you reside, for example, Afghan community in Athens, you can ask for advice on how to find affordable housing. Ask friends and family to consult with their landlords as they may be able to assist in locating vacant apartments through their networks. Look for poster ads on the streets or in newspapers. Enikiazete, which means to rent, is a visible sign in Greek posted in neighborhoods on the streets or on the outside of buildings. Locate and visit a real estate office in person, which is a better option than contacting them by phone or online. Approach an NGO that provides information on how to look for an apartment. If you look for an apartment through the internet, do not get discouraged when you, you do not see photographs of the apartment you are looking at. If the description matches your needs, communicate with the owner to visit the apartment. Consider compromising when viewing accommodation, especially if you have time constraints. Be flexible. Consider moving to a smaller town where rent is lower. More affordable housing can be found in the suburbs of urban areas accessible by public transportation. Consider proximity to schools, doctors, supermarkets, etc. Schools may be overcrowded and not accept new enrollments, so please check with the school before moving. Ask if the apartment is furnished or not. Most apartments are rented unfurnished. Real estate agents require a fee proportionate to the rental fee. You should not pay any fee to an agency or a person just for showing you houses. The fee is paid only if a contract is signed between the landlord and you. If you pay a fee, request a receipt for the amount you paid. If you pay through e-banking, make sure to keep the electronic receipt. After you have found an apartment, be sure to never pay money to landlords or those who assist you in looking for accommodation unless a receipt and explanation is written and documented. If you pay online, keep the electronic receipt. It is advised that single people share accommodation. In this case, landlords should indicate the net maximum number of people who can reside in the accommodation and include all residents' names on the lease. Lease Agreement According to Greek legislation, the minimum duration of a lease agreement is three years, even if it is stated in the written agreement that it is less than three years. 
Always be careful when terminating a lease contract and make sure that it is in writing. When you are not sure about the real duration of the contract, ask a legal expert, individual or from an NGO. Make sure you understand all the clauses of the lease agreement that you are signing, including who is responsible for the cost of damage and the notice period before leaving the house. If you do not speak Greek, bring the lease to an NGO with legal services to check if the clauses of the lease are in your favor. The required documents to sign your lease are your AFIMI, that is your tax number, the fiscal office, which issued it, and your valid residence permit or asylum card. You also need to declare an address in the contract, but there is no obligation to produce any document proving it. You should be aware that the duration of your lease agreement may be fixed up to the date of the expiration of your residence permit or asylum card. If this is the case, you will need to be able to extend your lease agreement with your renewed asylum card or residence permit. A security deposit may need to be paid to the owner depending on the agreement. Usually it is one to two months of the rent amount and will be returned at the end of the lease if there are no damages or outstanding bills on the property. Tenants should be aware that according to the Greek rental law and practice, all damages caused by tenants should be fully repaired or covered by the deposit given to the owner before the rental of the property. If you pay a deposit, you must obtain a receipt from the leaser or other proof of payment, which is bank transfer to the amount of the leaser. An official lease contract must be submitted to the independent authority for public revenue to finalize the procedure of the rental agreement. Otherwise, you may be exposed to possible arbitrary actions by the owner. The leaser, usually the owner, is responsible to initiate this procedure. When she or he completes the upload of the contract, you will receive an electronic message that you must accept in your account in TaxisNet, which is the General Secretariat of Information System, the official tax-related site. Be sure to cross-check if the information uploaded in the TaxisNet contract, mainly the agreed rental price, matches the information in the signed contract. The fee of an accountant to assist is around 10 to 15 euros. For help with taxes net, you can also contact NGO accountants such as Solidarity Now. A taxes net contract constitutes official proof that the lease agreement is registered with the tax authorities and allows you to prove your residence in various transactions with the administration to apply for social benefits, the social solidarity income, the housing allowance scheme, etc. In case you are renting a furnished apartment, make sure there is an itemized list of appliances, furniture or other household items handed over to you along with the use of the apartment. The items list should be signed by you and the apartment owner and be attached to the lease agreement as an annex. Utilities. Make sure you ask about the total cost of utilities of the apartment. You will have electricity, water, internet and phone, and sometimes communal expenses called kinochrista that all tenants pay. Check the electricity counter when you move in. Obtain information on the cost of communal expenses. This could significantly change the overall monthly expenses of the apartment. Bear in mind that city taxes, paid through the electricity bill, vary depending on municipality. Make sure that there is no debt in the utility bills from the previous tenant. At the beginning of the lease, you may establish new contracts in your name with the water, gas and electricity supply companies. The taxes net contract will be needed to do this. Check the discount policy of utility companies, for example, electricity company, water company, etc., for unemployed and or disabled persons. The AE, the state electricity company, uses a social invoice policy for those who are beneficiaries of SSI and persons with disabilities. 
When establishing a contract in your name, you may be required by the utility company to pay a deposit, which you will receive back when you terminate the contract. The deposit amount is calculated by the company on the basis of a consumption estimate. It rarely exceeds 100 euros. At the end of your lease agreement, make sure to terminate all contracts, otherwise there is a danger to be charged with expenses connected with future consumption of water, gas, electricity, etc. made by future tenants who consume electricity, water and gas in your name. Heating. If the apartment is in a block with common heating, ask if tenants pay common bills. It is common that during the winter months, heating is not operational in the block due to disagreement among tenants. If the apartment has autonomous heating, the tenant should take monthly measurements of their fuel consumption. The building's manager can show the apartment's measure in order to avoid being charged a disproportionate amount of fuel consumption. Autonomous heating is ideal for families because you can control it and it is an efficient way to heat the space. Make sure you note the insulation of the house prior to signing a lease as this may have a big impact on utility bills. For apartments with an autonomous gas heating system, the tenant needs to send the monthly measurement to the gas supplier for the bill to be issued in case the gas meter is located in a place that the employee of the gas company cannot reach. Maintenance. Clarify with the landlord on damages and painting of the apartment before you move in. Maintenance issues that are inherent to structural problems of the house, such as external humidity, old pipes, and electrical installations, are under the owner's responsibility to repair. Make sure that you document with a photo or a video the damage when noticed. Building Rules The building meeting is attended by all tenants and building rules apply for all tenants. Thank you for listening and best of luck in your search for housing. Ήταν το Frequently Asked Questions for Migrants, ένα podcast του Solidarity Now σε συνεργασία με την ύπατη αρμοστία του ΟΗΕ και το pod.gr που δίνει χρήσιμες πληροφορίες σε πρόσφυγες και μετανάστες που ζουν στη χώρα μας. Βρείτε το podcast στην ιστοσελίδα του Solidarity Now στο pod.gr, στην ιστοσελίδα της ύπατης αρμοστίας help.unhcr.org, Spotify, Apple Podcasts ή όπου ακούς podcast από το κινητό σου. It was the Frequently Asked Questions for Migrants, a podcast by Solidarity Now in collaboration with the UNHCR and pod.gr that gives useful information to refugees and migrants living in Greece. Find the podcast on the Solidarity Now website on pod.gr, on the UNHCR website at help.unhcr.org, on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you listen to podcasts from your mobile phone.